This is Alma machine number 4448. It's a 100 ton Roussel straight side double crank press, model number 10SS60. The serial number is 11093. It's a 1968 press. It's in excellent condition. It's been reconditioned and it's grown in a Columbia, Tennessee warehouse. This is inch mode. Single stroke. This is emergency stop. This is emergency stop. This is the die plug in the front. Okay. This is ram adjustment up. This is ram adjustment down. Okay. This is the bolster plate for the press. There's mounting holes. Here's the ram. This ram has been machined. And the the ways, all four ways have been machined as well on it. It's been squared up. So these here, these have to be unlocked, both of them, one there and one here, before you run the ram adjust, the air ram adjust. So this ram has been, has been out, it's been completely rebuilt. Um, you can see the bottoms here, a whole bunch of new parts we have. These are both brand new cranks. There's one crank on the left side that's brand new. All the bearings have been replaced. The main bearings, the connection bearings, same with on this side, brand new crank, new main bearings, new connection bearing. A bunch of new parts down here. It's been all rebuilt. Uh, this is a brand new valve, air valve for the the ram adjust, and this is a brand new ram mo ram adjust motor. It's an air motor. And up here, all the bearings on the back shaft have, have also been replaced. So here's one of them right here. I believe there's three of those. They've all been replaced. Counterbalances, those have been rebuilt. These air brakes have been re rebuilt, these cylinders here. And right here's the T stand for the press. It's a brand new T stand, new buttons. Brand new control, Seco 1100R, resolver based. You can see on this chain here, that's connected to the Seco resolver. Also, there's a top stop overrun as well for it. 
Right here's the control panel. It's 480 volt. It's all the wiring. So we got brand new wiring. Uh, here's the disconnect. New starter, brand new transformer. There's a parts manual right here from Roselle. And a brand new electrical print. Here's the back side of the press. Okay, up here, here are the pressure switches. One for the clutch, one for the counterbalance. There's an air tank up top. Brand new Harion air valve for the air clutch. Here's the main motor that functions normally. This is the airline for the ramp adjust. Here's the right side of the press. So obviously brand new air system. Here's the air inlet. Right here's the shutoff for the air ram adjust. Got your regulators right here. And the solid state timer by Graco for the lubrication pump. This is a Trayvon Maju Flow pump package. This is a brand new pump for it right here at the bottom by Graco. There's a Mac valve, brand new as well. And then up here, inside here is the uh, air clutch that's been rebuilt. And inside this larger cover, that's where one of the gears are. Here's the e-stop and die plug. And this one over here, this is where the other gear is. There are new pinion gears, both of them. Both pinion gears are new as well. This is Alma Machine number 4734. It's a 121 ton Sae Sutherland back ear gap frame press, model number Mark 121. The serial number is 107. It's a 1995 machine. It's in very good condition and it's in our Columbia, Tennessee warehouse. This is inch mode. Single stroke. This is continuous. And this is the speed adjust. This is top stop. This is emergency stop. This is the dive plug. This is ram adjustment up. This is the upper limit. This is ram adjustment down.
This is the lower limit. Here's the T stand for the press. And here's the bolster plate. It's T slotted right to left. And this was cut down to 4.75 inches thick from the bottom. There's a hole in the middle of it. Here's the ram. It's T slotted front to back. This is a brand new shot height indicator. And you have the counterbalances right here, one here, one on the other side. This is the brand new Seiko 1100R control, resolver based. Here's the right side of the press. So there's a dive plug here and the control panel. So here's the starter for the main motor and ram adjust motor. It's a brand new disconnect, it's a transformer, there's a brand new electrical print. Right here are the manuals, one for the Seco, one for the press. Inside this box is the eddy current control board pressure switches. Here's the eddy current motor up top. Behind here is the air clutch. There's a new air tank. Right here is a brand new Harion air valve for the clutch. And down here, here's the Seco resolver, top stop overrun switch. Here's an air tank. And right here is the hydraulic overload pump that functions normally. There's the ram adjust motor as well. Here's the brand new air system, air inlet regulators. Here's the left side of the press. So right here is the brand new lubrication pump and timer. Here's the hand pump for the air counterbalances. It's a manual pump. Here are the isolator pads for both the Sutherland and the Roselle press. 